As we'll see, there's nothing standard about the fueling of our historic racer. To complete a 45-minute race with a little fuel left in hand, we've estimated we'll need up to 40 litres, quite a bit more than the standard A40 tank will hold. The answer was a new tank, custom-made in aluminium. We designed the tank with some helpful advice from Concept Racing, who then made it for us. The new tank sits under a slightly modified rear floor, which has had the spare wheel well removed to provide the extra space it needs. The mounting points are the same as normally used on the A40, but the tank gains its extra capacity just above the mounting flange. Because the tank is made from aluminium, Concept advised us to use stainless steel straps to hold it in place, rather than the original solid mountings. In common with most race tanks, there is a filler tube and cap surrounded by a spill tray that drains out to underneath the car. The tank is baffled to prevent fuel sloshing across, and it's filled with foam, which is there primarily for safety, but also helps restrict the fuel movement. The usual one-way valve allows air into the tank as fuel is being drawn out by the pump, but does not allow fuel to flow out the other way through the valve, should the car unfortunately overturn. As fuel is used up, even with baffles and foam filling, there is still the possibility of the remaining fuel moving away from the pickup pipe. To prevent that situation causing temporary fuel starvation, fuel is fed by the first pump into a swirl pot with excess returning back to the tank. As fuel is always present in the swirl pot, a second pump, which should never get starved, feeds the carbs via a regulator, which also serves as a filter. We always run with a measured amount of fuel at the start of a race, and this means that we need an easy way of completely draining the tank. This is done by a hose joined into the system after the first fuel pump. All of this fuel delivery system is housed in the boot area above the tank. It's covered by a plate, sealed to the rear floor of the car to prevent fuel escaping into the body in the event of a serious accident or the car rolling over. Fuel pipes run inside the car, where they're safe from being hit should our driver divert off track over curbs or rough ground. Race regulations state that we should use original style carburettors. Our engine, which will rev at 9,000 revs per minute, is fed by a pair of 1 and 3 quarter inch SUs. In the next video, we'll be taking a close look at the braking system.